Yep, this creation is definitely going to give me nightmares. So now let's see what happens, shall we? Here comes the T-Rex. All right, first test. Here we go. Come on. Yes. Oh, <laughs> and he's dead. Oh, that works so well. Welcome back to Animal Revolt Battle Simulator. Now you might be wondering, why is there some human legs right here? And well, let me explain. Because the first suggestion here says, for a new custom creature, could you use the giant pair of human legs and add heavy amounts of armor to it? Maybe some kneecaps as well and have the top half be a walking death machine with tons of lasers, machine guns, rocket launchers, flamethrowers, and any sort of modern projectile weapons in, in the game. Yeah, pretty long suggestion. But as soon as I've made it, this guy then has to go ahead and take out the creature inside the cave there. In fact, you can probably see its eyes and he's very powerful. So we need to make sure that the legs of death or whatever you want to call this thing is also extremely powerful. So let's go ahead and get started. To begin with, I'm going to go ahead and add, I don't know, maybe a, a giant rocket launcher, right? Right here. Y you know what? Actually, I'm thinking maybe we should add armor instead. We'll do that first and then we'll move on to the weapons. So I'm going to try and make it so all of his legs is completely covered in armor. So that way, you know, if we uh, take any damage, well, hopefully we actually might be okay. Also, why does this guy have black toenails? Is he painted them? Interesting. Wow. This helmet here is actually perfect. Look at that. Oh, yes. So, uh, yeah, I've been working on this for a little while now, and this is where I'm at so far. So his legs aren't completely covered, but I think that should do in the armor department. But as you can see, I've also added some platforms here, and the plan is to go ahead and add some more weapons to them. So let's go over to weapons number two, and then I think maybe like three machine guns on each side should look pretty good. So one, two, three, and then we're going to do the same on the other side. One, two, three. Wow. Oh, yes. Oh, that's looking pretty good. And as you can see, I've also got these smaller platforms here, but I've just realized they're kind of being blocked by the machine guns because my initial plan is to add a missile launcher there. So maybe if we just go ahead and delete that and just move it elsewhere. Maybe like right here would do. And missile launcher, there we go. Hopefully the missile doesn't go flying into the rocket launcher there. That would be very bad, but uh, I guess we'll find out. And on this platform, I'm going to add a plasma cannon. There we go. Just two, one on each side. And uh, yeah, so I've had an idea for the flamethrower. And I think you'll all agree with me that this is a great idea. It's going to come out as buck. I guess he had something spicy or something. I don't know. I mean, this thing's already weird. Why not make it weirder, right? So I also want to add the lightning gun. And I think what I'm going to do is add another panel here and then just have the lightning gun like this. I would say that looks pretty good. And because I'm feeling festive, I've given this guy a Santa hat as well. Oh, and also some shades. But anyway, I think it's about time we see this thing in action and see if we can take down the beast inside the cave over there. Here we go. Fire. Yes. The machine guns are working and the lasers. Oh, this is amazing. Yes. So for those of you that are wondering, it is Huggy Wuggy inside. Oh, no. Uh-oh. He's attacking us right now. Keep firing. <laughs> We're still alive. That's a good sign. But Huggy Wuggy is very, very powerful. Come on. I think the armor is also working. Looks like he's trying to stab me right now with those claws, but he's having a tough time doing it. All right, let's check on the health. Oh, we are actually winning the fight. Yes. Come on, you weird leg creation. I can barely see what's going on because we're in like the bushes right now, but I think we will win this fight. So Star Wars dude, the guy that commented the suggestion, I hope this is good enough for you. Maybe not as many weapons as you had hoped for, but you know what? I think he looks pretty good and he's doing a pretty good job as well. Oh, look, it's a close fight, but we are definitely winning it. Yes. No. No! <laughs> Huggy Wuggy won. Only just though. Ow. So we lost to Huggy Wuggy, but will we lose to Godzilla? Let's find out. Here we go. Yeah, of course we're going to lose to Godzilla. I mean, it's Godzilla. Anyway, I think it's about time we move on to the next suggestion. Now, as you can see, I've got all the mutant primates here. And the reason I've done that is because this suggestion right here says day two of asking Fudgy to put wings on any random monkey slash gorilla, then add grapples and scale him up and put armor on him to make him fight someone lighter than him. So this sounds like a pretty great idea. It means that the gorilla will lift the enemy in the air and hopefully take them out. Now, 
Now, this is something I've actually done before, I'm pretty sure, with this guy right here, the Poo Jekdal Gorilla. I think it was just minus the grappling side of things. But the question is, who do we want to use? Not too sure about Goru because, well, he weighs a lot. So he's probably out of the equation here. And if I'm being honest, I actually think this guy might be our best bet. It's a unit I haven't really used that much of, but it's this guy right here. Shkimitirilla. Shkimitirilla. Gorilla guy. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to stick with him. Let's just go ahead, remove everyone else. All right, so we need to scale him up. Let's go 1.5. That looks pretty good. Maybe I might increase the health actually to four. There we go. Make him more powerful. Now we need wings. What kind of wings do we want? I think the gold wings here would probably look best on this unit. We might have to do some uh, test flights too, just to make sure he can actually fly. Yeah, see, that looks pretty good. Now here we have a water buffalo. Oh no, it looks like he's struggling to fly. Oh, here we go. Yes, grapple. Oh, that's so cool. We didn't even need to add the grappling hooks ourselves because already he comes with one. That's perfect. But he couldn't really fly too well. So we need to go ahead and increase the size of the wings. Then that way he should be able to take off. Okay, so let's go 1.2. Crazy wingspan going on here. It's kind of awkward. Or maybe 1.1 might be better. Uh, not exactly on the best way, but you know what? Let's just see what happens, shall we? Right, there we go. Now he can fly a lot more easily. Oh, he missed. Try again. Here we go. Grapple it. Take it in the air and then drop it. What, what is he doing? Oh, great. Wings are a little wonky, but it's fine. Anyway, I'm pretty happy with this. So let's give him some extra armor. And I might even add some extra grapples as well, just to make sure we really do pick up the enemies. Here we go. Classic shoulder armor right here. Always looks pretty good. Kind of. Right. So I've added a bit of armor and also some spikes. So the next thing I'm going to do is select the harpoon here and just go ahead and place some around his grapple hook here. Now, this should definitely lift up you units off the ground. I just hope even heavier units will be lifted as well. Uh, I guess we'll have to find out. All right, buddy. Let's find you an opponent. First up, Coward Cole. <laughs> He's not going to fight back. He's just going to run away. Oh, oh, he didn't even get the chance to run. Oh, no. Now he's getting messed up in the sky. Is he going to get dropped? Yes. Oh, well, he's been picked back up again. <laughs> this unit is insane. And Coward Cole is dead just like that. What about a little Velociraptor? Let's see what happens to this guy. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> Oh, that is so cool. Hang on a minute. The Velociraptor is trying to eat the wings right now. Oi, get off my wings. What are you doing, mate? All right, as soon as he drops, though, he's just going to die straight away. But I'm not sure the gorilla is actually going to drop the Velociraptor. <laughs> he's definitely stuck in the wing right now, though. Look at him just holding on for dear life. You know what? We're actually dying right now. <laughs> I think because he's eating my wing and there's nothing we can do. We're just dying in the sky. What a weird battle. But this is what I love about doing suggestions in ARBs. I do stuff that I never would think of myself and just come up with weird designs because of you guys. So yeah, make sure you keep leaving yours in the comment section down below for the next episode. After this, we do actually have one more suggestion though to go through and it's a juicy one. So I'm going to go for something just a little bit more heavier. A Purosaurus. This is a terrible idea. There's no way we're picking this guy up. All right, here we go. Look at the size of him as well. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it's not going to work. It is not going to work. Use your sword. That's it. It's the only thing you can do. What a terrible idea. Just imagine we actually were able to pick up, though. That would be very impressive. Those grapples look really cool, though, I have to say. Whoa. All right, come on. Is he almost dead? Eh, he's about halfway now. We're getting there slowly. Oh, no. Oh, he did a little twist attack. Oh, that's bad. That's not good. Are we okay? Oh, yeah, we're fine. That is definitely the most powerful attack the Purosaurus has when it spins like that. Very disorientating for me, I guess, for the gorilla here. Whoa. I have to say, this fight is going on for quite a while, though. And there's a chance we actually might die. Uh-oh. Nope. Oh, that's bad. Oh, I think we've done it. Yes, the Purosaurus is down. We have won the fight. All right, let's go for a saltwater crocodile. This thing is a lot smaller than the Purosaurus, so we should be able to pick it up. Oh, yes, there we go. We didn't get it very far off the ground, but at least we were able to pick it up just a little bit there. And just like that, we've won the fight. Next to fight the gorilla, we have Archie the Archer. But there's four of them. Here we go. Fire those arrows. They're definitely going to get lifted off. Oh, <laughs> oh and slam. He's down. Oh. <laughs> 
Oh, they're getting absolutely messed up right now. Yes. Only one remaining. Here comes the grapples. Wait for it. Any second now. Come on. Use your grapple, man. Get him. How are we missing? There we go. Now fly and drop him. Oh, he's stuck in the spike. And he's down. All of them have died. You know what? I like this creation. I'm going to go ahead and save him. Proceed. Moving on to the next suggestion here. It says, make a spike trap that uses tentacles for spikes and add armor around the trap. Now, I'm hoping that this trap will be capable of taking down dinosaurs and even some of my own creations. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, I've already had a bit of an idea for this. I'm going to use the static A box here and increase the HP multiplier to 10, I think would be pretty good, and scale it all the way down to 0.2. Now, this next Next part is going to look very strange, but I think it works pretty well for this. We're going to use a hellhound head as the base of the trap. Well, I guess the box is the base, but this is the second base thing. So now the next thing I'm going to do is add the tentacles going all the way around the hellhound's head here. The only thing we're really missing is the armor from the suggestion, but maybe I could throw in some armor. The design I've gone for kind of makes it hard to add armor. Well, that already looks pretty terrifying. But I also want to add more tentacles. We're going to go pretty crazy <laughs> with how many tentacles we add. Now, any enemy that gets close enough into the trap should also be set on fire from the hellhound here. Yep. This creation is definitely going to give me nightmares. So now let's see what happens, shall we? Here comes the T-Rex. All right, first test. Here we go. Come on. Yes. Oh. <laughs> and he's dead. Oh, that worked so well. I'm just thinking, where could we put armor on this thing? Maybe we can give him like a helmet. I mean, it doesn't look terrible. Yeah, I quite like that. Sticks with the spike theme we got going on. Next to go in the spike trap is Carl. We all love Carl, but unfortunately, it's time for him to die. Will he survive? I guess we're about to find out. I am actually a little bit concerned for the spike trap here. The spike trap might die. All right, here we go. Oh, oh no. Of course, Carl also has... Oh, flame froze, but he's dead. The spike trap just killed Carl and he made it look easy. Oh, man. Have we just made something really overpowered? You know what? Let's give Gary a go. We haven't seen Gary in a while, so why not make him go into the trap? Here we go. Oh, impaled straight away oh, oh and he's dead of course he can't survive it's interesting because the tentacles at the front here just go straight into them and they almost just die straight away right let's go for a werewolf so the werewolf here i'm guessing will just jump straight into the spikes and die here we go here comes the pounce oh he kind of messed up his jump there but <laughs> he's dead what about me though can i survive the spike trap or even take it out the answer is yes oh but i also died. The weird tentacle trap is dead though. Huggy Wuggy inbound. Let's see what happens with this guy, shall we? Oh, okay. Well, this is very weird. Although I think we're about to die. Spike trap cannot defeat Huggy Wuggy. Yep, it's dead. It's even more scary when you look at it from up here. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and save this guy. Proceed. Now there is a field of the tentacle monster things, along with a bunch of humans trying to take them down. But they're all definitely going to die. Here we go. Oh, look at the flame throws going off as well. That actually looks pretty impressive. Oh, wait, they're all dead? Just like that? Well, that was easy. All right, so we also have Goru here now. And a bunch of horses too. I think they're all going to get messed up. Uh, yep. Whoa. <laughs> oh, I actually love these things. Oh, that poor horse. Uh, but yeah, it looks like these archers are just going to constantly fire at them. So this is their biggest weakness right here. They can't move. So the archers will just continue to fire at them. But anyway, on that note, I'm going to end this one right here. There's another video on the top right. So make sure you go ahead and check that out. Also, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll hopefully see you in that video right there. Goodbye!